Hi guys, I hope that you've all been doing really well. This is my first time filming a video in such a long time. I think it's been about three, three weeks, give or take, since I last filmed. Because if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I am trying to sort out the perfume room at the moment. And um, basically we got so many fragrances recently within the last like six months that we are running out of space. Um, we have a wall on the opposite side, duh. So basically this room has just been so clustered full of stuff for like, yeah, like three weeks. And it's been really like off-putting to me. Like I'm somebody that I get really easily uh, claustrophobic and I just couldn't come inside of this room for a while. Like it, I just couldn't bring myself to filming a video in here. These are the lac shelves from Ikea and we're gonna do exactly the same thing here. Uh, on the other wall, which is super exciting. I'm just so happy to have like more space and be able to like move the perfumes like away from each other a little more because I feel like it looks super clustered. Anyways, let's get into today's video. I am going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects, which is summer fragrances, but addictive summer fragrances because I believe that summer is not just a time to wear fresh, light, airy fragrances. Summer is a time for you guys to show out and show off if you want to, of course, and wear something sexy, wear something attention grabbing, wear something addictive. Myself, I always gravitate towards something fresh during the day, depending on what I'm doing, of course. And then at night, that's when I pull out the addictive fragrances. So I have a bunch of recommendations here, all of which I have worn, all of which I can highly recommend, and all of which have a a super addictive quality to them. So whatever you guys are doing this summer, wherever you're going this summer, try one of these fragrances in the daytime or the night and you will see they are super addictive. I'm gonna throw it back to an OG and if you guys have been around with me for a really long time, you will know that I used to talk about Sunshine from Amouage all the time like in every single video i would recommend amouage sunshine this was actually one of my first niche fragrances ever and still to this day i love it just as much as the first time that i smelled this scent when i first smelled it i was so stunned at how beautiful this scent is and how addictive that it is if you don't know how this smells amouage sunshine is this gorgeous kind of dried apricot -y scent with a little bit of spice, a little touch of white tobacco. It is just incredibly addictive. You have some osmanthus, this apricot -y note, you have some florals in there, you have a bit of a spice, you have that white tobacco and it is just incredibly addictive on the skin. I actually wore this scent yesterday. I mixed it with Ylang in Gold from Mikalef, which is another uh, if you know, you know moment because I used to talk about that scent layering combination a lot in the past. So if you guys know, you know, it smells incredible. Amouage Sunshine is super addictive, super long lasting, and it's definitely going to get you complimented during the summer. I do recommend wearing this one on a summer night because it can be a little bit too sweet and too heavy to wear during the day. But a summer night under like the Mediterranean sun, this scent is the go-to. It is absolutely incredible. Amouage Sunshine Definitely check this one out. For me, it is truly an addictive, addictive fragrance on the skin. So next up, we have a fragrance from L'Orchestre, and this is Bouquet Encore. Now, I have spoken about this scent in the past, but for me, I prefer wearing Bouquet Encore in the warmer weather. I feel like it really radiates off of your skin in such a sensual way when it's a little more warmer outside. Now, if you don't know how this fragrance smells, Oh my gosh. I literally, guys, if you like the same scents as me, there is no way that you would not like Bouquet Encore. This is such a sexy, feminine white floral scent, but not white florals as you would imagine them to be. It's more light, it's more airy, it's more playful and flirtatious. It's very sweet and it has almost like 
a little bit of like a whipped creamy sensation mixed with some nice light and transparent white florals. It is just incredibly gorgeous, incredibly sexy on the skin. If you like Lanta de Rouge from Givenchy, you will love this one. If you like Rouge Malachite from Armani Privé, you will love this one. It is much more of like a lighter fragrance. Oh, and a lot of you guys always ask me what to layer with Musk Noir Rose from Narcisa Rodriguez. Bouquet Encore from Locust. You have to try that layering combination. It just smells to die for. Musk Noir Rose mixed with Bouquet Encore. That is a killer combination. Now, I will have to say that the longevity projection on Bouquet Encore is not amazing. I personally get around like six hours and then I really have to either go back and top it up or just... Uh, given to the fact that it didn't last on my skin. I did want to let you guys know that the longevity projection is not amazing on this scent, but personally, I don't care because I love the way that it smells and I don't mind going in and reapplying it. So definitely check this one out. It works way better in the warmer weather, especially, like I said, a nice, sexy summer night. This one is going to get you something. Obviously, I had to mention Poets of Berlin from Wilhelm Parfumery. Now, you guys, for me, this is like top three most addictive fragrances in this list. I don't know what it is about Poets of Berlin, but this in the warmer weather just screams intoxication. This scent, oh my god. Now, I do have to say this scent can remind you of like a green ripe banana, but in the best way possible. What you're going to get from this fragrance is a very green woody vanilla. This scent is so, so addictive. Now, personally, I like to wear this one during a summer day, a summer night. I really do not care, but I am telling you guys to wear this one during the summer. I do also want to say something in this video. I often get a lot of questions about uh, seasonal fragrances and what is appropriate for what month, etc. Now, if you guys don't know this, I I'm sure most of you do. I live in Dubai, so as you can imagine, it is hot pretty much all year round, except for a few months of the year where it does get a little bit cooler in the morning and the night. So if I reserved like my stronger fragrances to wear when it's cooler, I would never wear them. So I feel like people within this region, they just wear whatever they want, whenever they want. If they want to wear an oud fragrance in the 40 degrees Celsius heat, they will do it. Now, would I personally do it? I don't know. I don't think I would wear under the heat, under the sun at like 12 p.m. I don't think I would wear an oud scent myself, but I do wear heavier fragrances in the heat, like Poets of Berlin. This is a very strong, green, woody vanilla, and it doesn't stop me from wearing it during the day when it is really hot. So definitely play around with your fragrances. It is very personal, and some people can feel a little bit overwhelmed wearing a stronger scent when it is hot but i am telling you guys there is literally no rules to fragrance of course it is a little bit subjective but there is no rules and you can wear whatever you want whenever you want so i just wanted to kind of touch on that because it is a question that i get asked a lot but like you guys know i do live in dubai so i'm not going to save my heavier fragrances for the cooler weather because the cooler weather is never going to come so i would just never end up wearing my stronger scents like something that i love to do i feel like i'm going on a huge rant it's obvious that i haven't filmed because i'm going on a lot of rants but something that i love to do and i would recommend that you guys start to do is if you have a stronger fragrance but you still want to wear it during like the summer spring months wear it at night it has less of an overwhelming factor when you wear something at night in the heat because there is of course no sun kind of like beaming on you so that is what i would recommend that you guys do for me i wear whatever i want when it comes to the night i can wear oud i can wear fresh i can wear whatever i want um but yeah I think that that's it. This is the most incredible vanilla scent. It's so exotic. It's so sexy. It's so intoxicating. That is the word that I would use to describe it. I always get a compliment with Poets of Berlin, you guys. Like every single time I wear this, I get a compliment. And something that I love about this scent is that it lasts. 
it lasts and lasts and lasts on the skin. For me, I get about eight hours of really good wear with Poets of Berlin and a nice kind of arms width projection. So it does project, it does last, and it does intoxicate. I actually made a TikTok recommending fragrances based on where you guys are traveling this summer. And I said that this is like a Mykonos scent. For me, this is Mykonos. It's somewhere that's fun and exciting and i don't know i've never been to mykonos by the way but that's how i imagine mykonos to be like just so i don't know free and so fun so this would be my recommendation for you guys poets of berlin we're going to talk about my favorite body spray from sol de janeiro this is the number 62. now i know there is a lot of I don't know, mixed opinions about the 62, which I totally do not understand. This smells incredible. And if anybody tells you otherwise, they are lying. 62 is wow. Like this is the Boom Boom Cream in a bottle. And personally, I love the way that the Boom Boom Cream smells. It just intoxicates a room so for me 62 is one of the best by far i also really like the 71 it's a little more gourmand and a little more sweet but the 62 really has that summer vibe for me the 71 is much more gourmand like i said the 62 is gourmand, but it has more of that summer tone to it, which I just adore you guys. I took this one with me to Santorini like two summers ago, and it just br brings me so much joy. Like when I smell this scent, I feel so happy. Like I feel so happy. And if I could have my entire world around me to smell like something, I wish it would be the Sol de Janeiro number 62 because it just is incredible so this one is pistachio and salted caramel which i feel like you definitely get something nutty and you do get something sweet but not too much like it definitely doesn't smell overwhelmingly sweet and it does really have that summer kind of almost a little bit of like a sunscreen sensation Definitely check this one out. Grab yourself a huge bottle for the summer and just wear it. Layer it with a bunch of your fragrances and just enjoy this scent because it really, it just smells so happy and good vibes. And next up, we're going to talk about Camellia K from Ella K. Now, this is a newer release that launched earlier in the year and I have made a few TikToks about it. So guys, if you do not follow me on TikTok, I'm starting to post over there much more frequently. Like when I take, not a break from YouTube, but when I'm not posting here, I am posting on my TikTok because TikTok, I can go on there like looking like absolute garbage and I feel like it doesn't really matter. Whereas YouTube, I always like to do my makeup, like look a little more presentable. Um, but this fragrance right here, I mentioned on my TikTok that it smells like Givenchy L'Interdit Rouge mixed with Baccarat Rouge from MFK. So if you like either one of those scents, there is a big chance that you're going to like Camellia K. This is such a gorgeous kind of bubblegummy white floral. I do have to say, when it launched, I was a little disappointed that Sonia Constant launched something so similar to something that already exists on the market. Like it does really remind me of Lanta de Rouge, but nonetheless, I am recommending it because I truly love this fragrance. I think it smells intoxicating on the skin. Longevity and projection is beast mode. This one lasts on my skin about eight hours with a beautiful scent trail. And it is just intoxicating. That is the word to describe this scent. Like I said, it's very floral. It has that bubblegummy sensation, but it also has something very airy and playful about it. It is truly incredible, you guys. So like I said, if you like Lanta de Rouge, there is a huge chance that you will like this one. And it does have something a little bit like Baccarat Rouge in there as well. So it's kind of a combination of the two scents. And I would really recommend this one. For any of you guys that like a nice sexy white floral, check out Camellia K from Ella K for the summertime specifically. A summer night? Oh my god. I can see the end result. Of wearing this scent on a summer night. Let's get the Stefanomba Luca out of the way. No, this is not sponsored. I just, both of these scents are super addictive. So I'm going to start out with God of Fire. I have spoken about God of Fire for over a year now, and now everybody is starting to talk about it. But God of Fire is this gorgeous 
fruity, sour, fresh fragrance with a bit of ambery woods in the base. It is truly incredible. And I mentioned it so many times. What I love about this scent is that it is a mango scent, but it's cut perfectly with some ginger and red fruits. I feel like the ginger and red fruits bring something kind of sour and then you have the mango, so you have this kind of tropical fruitiness and then you have a little bit of florals and some amber and woods in the base and it just works perfectly. Like I cannot tell you guys how perfect that this scent is. Now longevity and projection on this one is truly beast mode, truly a beast mode scent. This one is going to last eight plus hours on your skin with a huge projection. And what I love about God of Fire is that it is fresh enough for you to wear it during the day in the summer. You can definitely wear this one during the day because like I said, it does have a freshness. It has lemon and ginger and some red fruits which kind of lift up the composition and it's just incredible. If you guys have not tried this one yet, you must. It's amazing. Everybody knows about it now, so I'm gonna stop talking about it, but it is fantastic. I actually gifted a bottle to my eldest sister in Australia at the end of the year and she is in love with God of Fire. Like I said, I'm going to talk about the other Stefan Amber Luca to get it out of the way. It is Soleil de Jeda Mango Kiss. Now this is one that I have mentioned frequently on my TikTok recently because uh, a lot of people love God of Fire, a lot of people know about it. But Mango Kiss is also a mango scent, but completely different to God of Fire. Like completely different. Mango Kiss is so creamy and balmy and coconut and mango and benzoin and it's just wow it is spectacular mango kiss is much more luxurious smelling than god of fire god of fire is for all of you that want to get down have fun go a little crazy during the summer and the mango kiss is for more of like an elegant i don't know I don't know. Mango Kiss smells more like luxurious and bougie and you know, all of that. So for me, the mango is much more creamy in here, like much, much, much more creamy, very smooth. It smells golden. Like, I don't know if it's a placebo effect because of the bottle, but it really smells like golden. It's just incredible. It's sweet. Like I said, coconut, mango, it's smooth. It's quite ambery and woody and it's just, a gorgeous gorgeous fragrance so take your pick choose your poison which one that you prefer like i said this one is more fun flirty sexy and this one is more luxurious next up i'm going to talk about my favorite ylang ylang perfume this is ylang ylang nosy b from paris monte carlo this is truly the most beautiful ylang ylang dominant fragrance that i have tried ever and i really really mean that and i hope that if any of you watching this video are a fan of ylang ylang and you want a really beautiful exotic yellow floral you have to check out ylang ylang nosy bee when i smelled this for the first time i was completely mesmerized by the way that this smells and i've never smelled a fragrance that has so beautifully captured the scent of ylang ylang now i know that in the past i've spoken a lot about ylang in gold from Nicholas, which i truly love but i don't feel like it's really a yellow floral like it's more of like a fruity coconutty vanilla with a touch with a dash of ylang ylang this is an ylang ylang fragrance and it is the most beautiful that i have ever tried truly this is so Oh my gosh, like this is exotic and I love using that word because it truly smells exotic to me. This is balmy and smooth and creamy. You feel the ylang ylang, you feel lots of vanilla, a little bit of musks. It is just wow. And honestly, you guys as well, the longevity and projection on this one is amazing. I get about six to eight hours with a nice projection. It just smells super luxurious, but also very sensual on the skin. I feel like it smells luxurious from the florals. There is ylang ylang, jasmine and rose, but predominantly ylang ylang. And I feel like it smells really sensual from the vanilla and the musk that are in here. So for me, this is the perfect ylang ylang fragrance to ever exist. I have tried so many, especially recently, because I am on the hunt for the best like tropical floral fragrance ever 
and still nothing tops this fragrance in terms of like a tropical ylang ylang scent this is the best one okay, next up we're gonna go to one of my personal favorite like um addictive summer scents now i take this fragrance on vacation with me i took it to the maldives twice twice you guys not once i took it twice i've taken it on many summers i love this scent it is zerjoff ouverture now i don't know what they did with this fragrance but it is truly unique and that is what i love about it like i have no fragrance in my collection that even smells close to overture from zerjoff now i have spoken about this fragrance a lot but most people don't really know about overture and it is truly incredible even if you don't buy it just go and smell this fragrance because this really is special this is unique and you will see what i mean when you smell it because there is some it's such a weird contrast of notes yet somehow it works in here you have cinnamon and fig leaf and florals you have some ylang ylang and jasmine etc you have some incense you have a lot of sandalwood but you think about those notes paired in one fragrance and it really sounds disgusting. But somehow they have done some magic with this fragrance and it just works beautifully. For me, what I predominantly get is a lot of sandalwood. I definitely feel this kind of green fig leaf, but ever so slightly. I am somebody who doesn't really like fig. I do like it depending on what it's paired with. And for instance, in here, it is done perfectly for me. You also have this kind of warm spiciness from some cinnamon. You have a lot of sweetness. And like I said, this really beautiful, creamy, balmy woodiness. And it just is intoxicating. Guys, I wear this one on a summer day, on a summer night. I do not care. It works. Trust me on this one. It works. But I do feel like a lot of you will find this one to be a little too strong for the summer days. So try it on a summer night and thank me later. You will be complimented so much when you wear Zojoff Overture. First of all, because it smells unique and second, of all, <laughs> and second of all, because it smells intoxicating. So definitely check this one out. Longevity projection is fantastic. I get an easy eight hours on my skin with Overture and a nice minimal projection. It's not a Baccarat Rouge, but it does project. Next up, another throwback. We have Ujun Intense from Fragrance Subois. Now, I always talk about it, my, but my bottle is so beat up because I took this to Bali with me. I traveled with it a lot and I don't want to replace this bottle. Like I want to keep this bottle forever because I have a lot of memories attached to Ujun Intense. And guys, this for me, still to this day, is one of my top, top, top tropical florals. Like I mentioned earlier, I am on the hunt to find a new tropical floral to wear during the summer. And I cannot really find anything. Like I've tried the new Juliet Has a Gun, which is really beautiful, but it's, you know, it wasn't groundbreaking for me. I have tried so many. So I need you guys to recommend me like a gorgeous, intoxicating tropical floral that I can go and smell because I am ready for something new. Ujun Intense, I don't know what they did with this scent, but it is perfection to me, absolute perfection. And I wore this, like I told you guys many times, when I first met Pierre, we took a trip to Bali and that trip is where I fell in love with him or where we fell in love with each other, I should say. And in Bali, we were on adventures and there was like the humidity of the Bali heat because it's very humid in Bali, but it also feels very tropical and you're in Asia. So it just has this, I don't know, it was just incredible and Ujun Intense. It just worked perfectly in this kind of humidity, in this tropical environment surrounded by lots of frangipani and greenery. It just was perfect. Okay, I'm just going back there in my head right now. But Ujun Intense is this beautiful mix of fruits, coconuts, and tropical florals. You have some tiare flower, which I absolutely adore. You have frangipani, you have some ylang ylang, but not so much in here. You feel this kind of tropical fruity vibe, like maybe a bit of pineapple, maybe a touch of something mango-y, and you have coconut. So it is just the most incredible, perfect blend of all of those three kind of worlds. And it just works, it smells incredible. I always feel like a feminine goddess when I wear this scent. 
longevity and projection on my skin is about six hours so it's not crazy but it also does last a decent amount of time and it projects within your arm's length big compliment get out just a gorgeous scent and i love it so much still to this day quickly gonna breeze through it but i had to include vibrato from suspiro because you guys i have never come across a citrus fragrance that is addictive usually the word citrus and addictive do not go together citruses are fresh they're clean they're a little bit boring and that is it but vibrato you guys is the only citrus fragrance that i have tried that smells addictive as well now a lot and I'm talking a lot of you guys have bought this one off of my recommendation. And first of all, I want to say thank you guys so much for trusting me. It really makes me so happy when you guys purchase something based off of my recommendations and you fall in love with it. That is the best thing about being a fragrance reviewer is when my recommendation has made you guys happy. So Vibrato from Suspiro, this one made a lot of you guys happy and I'm so glad because a lot of people think that it's just hype, that it's just this, whatever. Vibrato, you guys, is truly incredible. This is an addictive, addictive, addictive citrus. And I'm going to tell you guys something right now. I am going to have an amazing discount code with Suspiro coming up soon. I'm going to announce it in the next few videos, but keep an eye out because I am going to have a 15% off discount with Suspiro. So hold on to your coins. If you wanted to get anything from the brand, hold on to them. I will organize a discount code. It's coming. Vibrato. As you guys know, this is citrus. It's very juicy, it's very invigorating, but it has a bit of a powderiness. It has a slight sweetness. It has a little bit of something herbaceous and a little bit woody in the base. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just for me, the best citrus ever. And like I said, I've never tried a citrus that actually smells addictive. And this, this is it right here. Also the longevity and projection make this fragrance a 10 out of 10. It lasts on the skin, which is just a miracle. I don't know how they did it, but vibrato it lasts on my skin about eight hours. And I always get a compliment, you guys. I always get a compliment. It is insane. With this scent, I've had to take out a pen and paper and write down the name of it for some people. So it is crazy. The hype on this one is really deserved. It is fantastic. And that's what I'm gonna say. And finally, my last recommendation for an addictive summer fragrance is from Musicology. And this fragrance is called Sun Goddess. Now I got this fragrance at Exxon's and I have worn it about two to three times since I got it. I am planning to bring this one on my summer vacation because this is truly beautiful. And I'm so happy to talk about it on my channel because you guys you need to try this fragrance. I have been looking for a frangipani dominant scent for a really long time because I love frangipani. I grew up all around frangipani in Australia, also like I said in Bali. So I just love this flower. I think it is so gorgeous, not only the look of it, but the smell of it. And I just, I love frangipani. So I have been looking for a scent that kind of embodies the beauty of frangipani. And I found it. Sun Goddess is this gorgeous frangipani interpretation. You have a lot of vanilla. It's very creamy. I actually give it a little spritz here. It's sunny. It's warm. It's creamy and it's exotic as well. It does have something very exotic about it. There is a heliotrope note in here. There's some other florals, a lot of vanilla. And it is just truly beautiful. It definitely has an addictive quality about it coming from the vanilla. And I'm obsessed with this scent. So Sun Goddess from Musicology is absolutely a 10 out of 10. Um, and I cannot wait to wear this one more. What I will have to say is that the longevity projection isn't crazy. It's not a beast mode scent, but it does last around six hours on my skin with a nice projection. So Sun Goddess from Musicology, if you were looking for a frangipani, this is your guy right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry that it was such a long video, but if you know me, you know that this is like one of my favorite scent categories ever, like addictive summer, just intoxicating fragrances. This is my jam. So I could talk about it all day long, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will see you very soon. Why was that so hard to come out? Bye guys.